China is a fascinating nation and the entry point to East Asia. It is a prehistoric culture that produced the world's first peeping man, gunpowder, and noodles. First-time visitors to China typically stay in the bigger cities. More seasoned tourists to the Middle Kingdom will depart in other places, where independent travelers can certainly travel without much difficulty, despite the language barrier. Here are some of China's top tourist destinations. Number 10. Kunming. Southwest China's industrial, commercial, and cultural hubs are located in Kunming. It has rail connections with Vietnam and all of China's main cities. It is a great spot to visit at any time of the year in large part due to the pleasant climate. Tourists can visit large botanical gardens, flower shows and auctions, and the flower growing business as a whole. Along with its own charms, Kunming also provides a base from which to explore the region's diverse ethnic minorities. Number 9. Juzhegu. Juzhega Valley has been compared to a fairyland due to its numerous waterfalls, snow-covered karst mountains, and 108 lakes that are so transparent that one can see the bottoms of them. Giant pandas live there as well, though there is little chance of seeing them given the size of the park and the volume of visitors. Number 8. Hangzhou. Hangzhou and its West Lake, famed for their natural beauty, have been immortalized by innumerable poets and artists. Marco Polo called the city the most stunning and majestic in the entire globe in the 13th century. West Lake, the most well-known attraction in Hangzhou, is a sizable lake bordered by historic structures and tranquil, spiritual gardens. Along its coastlines, tourists can find pagodas, temples, strolling trails, and tea fields. Number 7. Yangshua. Backpackers used to flock to Yangshua in South China because of its low costs and laid-back vibe, but now all kinds of tourists visit to take in the area's stunning scenery and karst mountains. A day journey to Gilan for a leisurely trip on the Li River can be made from Yangshua as well. Since the return route is quite level and affords views of farmers working in their fields, Many tourists opt to rent bicycles. Number 6. Lhasa. The most significant and highest elevation city in the world is Lhasa, which is also in Tibet. Despite being incorporated into Greater China, Lhasa, at 11,500 feet, 
has maintained much of its culture. The Patala Palace, the previous residence of the Dalai Lama, is located there. More than 360 years ago, the palace was built atop the Red Hill. Norbulinka, another palace, was constructed in 1755. Prior to his exile, it served as the Dalai Lama's summer residence. Number 5. Xi'an. Once upon a time, Xi'an served as the beginning point of the crucial Silk Road, which allowed trade between numerous Eurasia countries. Prior to the unification of China, between 1000 BC and 1000 AD, it served as the imperial capital for no fewer than 11 dynasties. The Terracotta Army, which was very recently discovered, is its most well-known attraction. The guardians of China's first emperor's tomb. Xi'an is also proud of its more than eight-mile-long city walls from the 14th century. Through addition to being a part of the city's history, passing under or around them is occasionally necessary when traveling in Xi'an. Number 4. Shanghai. Shanghai, the largest city in China, is situated at the mouth of the Yangtze River and the East China Sea. Skyscrapers dominate the city's skyline, and gleaming shopping malls, opulent hotels, and esteemed art galleries are also emerging alongside it. Shanghai's nights are a good example of how Westerners perceive Chinese cities with their flashing neon signs, busy streets, and abundance of establishments. The Bund Shanghai's colonial riverfront, which is located along the Huangpu River, is the most well-liked location for strolls. Levees significantly altered the Bund's appearance, although several noteworthy architectural structures are still present and close to the strip. Number 3. Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China is made up of numerous smaller walls constructed by different dynasties. These walls were built over a long period of time as defense against northern invasion. The actual length of the Great Wall is about 5,500 miles. It is the longest man-made structure in the world despite the fact that parts of its sections are in ruins or have completely vanished. Visitors encounter a number of noteworthy sections of the Great Wall of China. Due to its proximity to Beijing and ease of climbing, Beidiling is the most well-known segment of the wall. Number 2. Hong Kong. Off the southeast coast of China, Hong Kong is a gleaming global financial hub where British colonial history and Chinese culture collide. Hong Kong has lots of things to offer. It is a place of beautiful towering skyscrapers and lots of shopping malls that shoppers would surely enjoy. Aside from this, Visitors can celebrate festivals and eat delicious cuisine while visiting the place. Hong Kong Disneyland, with the biggest and world-class Disney theme park, is the place you shouldn't miss.
Number 1. Beijing. It is the capital of China with lots of meaningful places and well-preserved Chinese cultures. With its beautiful sceneries and rich traditions, many tourists were attracted to visit and enjoy the place. The Forbidden City, one of the most visited places in Beijing, which used to be the home of emperors and no one was allowed to enter unless the emperors permit until 1912, has now turned into a museum. Please leave a comment of other places you would like to visit. Please like and subscribe to see more.